Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Moncala Galactic Championship Qualifier. What's the Galactic Championship? Well, this is an event series happening with qualifiers taking place in time zones around the world. We have players playing literally from around the world, which is absolutely amazing. And it all culminates in a grand event, the Galactic Championship happening in November. People who made the top 32 are getting invites and we are giving out 32 invites every single qualifier. They roll down if people get them already. Uh, it, it's amazing. We're going to break down these lists because I think these guys are going to get into it pretty quick. I'm joined by William Haywood, and I'm going to start the Choose Your Champion. If you're watching on YouTube, put your pick in the comment section down below and then comment on your comment. Let's find out if you were right. Go ahead. Take it, Will. All right. Uh, let's start with our... Bet one all champion here, uh, Neo flying the uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, I just lost it. A Re rebel alliance, I don't know what I was thinking there for a second. Flying the rebels, and he's got Dash Rendar with trick shot, Bistan, co or perceptive co pilot, shield upgrade, and outrider title. Perceptive Copilot giving you two focuses. Bistan gives you a second shot if you have a focus token. Obviously, Outrider and Trick Shot combine with Dash's ability to ignore obstacles to great effect. His wingman for this match is none other than Benthic Two Tubes with uh, the Pivot Wing configuration, of course. Uh, Dead Man Switch, Advanced Sensors, Perceptive Copilot. Jin or so and hull upgrade. So Benthic two tubes, as we see right here, uh, when he takes a focus action, you may transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship at range one to two. Um, so he can take a focus token and he passes it to Dash. He gets his own focus token uh, from his perceptive co-pilot. And then of course, uh, Jin or so can change any one of those focus tokens gained into evade tokens. Advanced turns are helping him out with those red stop maneuvers and any bumps, uh, allowing him to always be supporting Dash no matter what. On the other side here, uh, we have a pair of IG-2000s. Uh, this is IG-88B and IG-88C. And we'll get to their builds here in a second while Dash blasts one with a range 3 uh, attack here. Here we go. Four die shot. Oh. Uh, ping, a, ping the box. There's a, there's a giant dice box that you're <laughs> required to roll in. Mm -hmm. I also rolled five dice, which is not correct either. So, yep. Just testing he, out he, the dice. See he, how got they roll. he got excited. He got excited. There it is. <laughs> so spend, spends uh, one of his or his his focus. He's got a focus of eight on dash mm -hmm. uh, for a hit, hit, crit, crit. And defending, oh, oh no. that is not a good way to start. You probably spend that calculate. We're going to use uh, yeah, uh, an we'll... elusive charge. Mm -hmm. Got two. Going to be taking two right off the bat. Now, remember, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, look, this dash does dash. does have a, does have Biston, so uh, we're probably going to get a bonus attack here. Well, it's a, it has to be against a... A turret attack against a ship you have already, or you have not already attacked this round. Ah, oh, you're so. right. Yes, it's left, right. Sorry. All right, we'll finish up. This is IG88B here, rolling uh, one hit against, I assume, Dash, who's got an evade. And an obstructed range three shot, so should be no problem. So as we mentioned here, IG that's IG88D at the top of the board. Mm -hmm. Had used his elusive charge. Uh, it's a charge you get to reroll one of your defensive dice, but it only comes back if you do a red maneuver. Uh, so we, to combine with the red maneuvers, these IGs have uh, advanced sensors, allowing them to take an action before their dial. Uh, cannons, because of the other IG's ability. Uh, those, those cannons are Auto Blaster and Ion Cannon. We got Proton Bombs, Rick Cargo Shoot, Hull Upgrade as well. So, a variety of tools and uh, weapons. Uh, IG 88D is the one that allows you to change your Signor's loop 
to either the hard turns or the straight maneuver, giving them a lot of options, especially with that advanced sensors being able to boost to then choose your talent roll after that. Uh, very powerful. Uh, the other IG is IG-88B. Uh, you can see here that has the exact same loadout, elusive, advanced, auto, blaster, cannon, ion cannon, proton bombs, rigged cargo chute, and hull upgrade. That's nope. what I think we saw there. Uh, what we saw was IG-88B's ability um, that after you miss an attack, you can perform a bonus cannon attack. Uh -huh. So it followed up with an ion cannon against dash there and resulted in uh the uh extra damage Question yeah there's mark? three three shields down yeah, on, so on dash I, igb shot with the primary miss shot with the ion cannon and stripped the focus and evade off of dash mm -hmm. and then Both. igd the yellow one came in and did three damage and because he had no more tokens he was able to actually push that through with the primary attack e there you go z now, I mean that that is a good start for Mike. I will I will say that because uh, Dash Dash is always on a bit of a clock, right? Like you have Benthic there as a uh, as a support battery for Dash, going to be able mm -hmm. to give him the focus evades. I mean, it, you expect Dash to be focus focus evade every turn, uh, but the double tapping for the IGs as well are a great tool to deplete the tokens that are there. And if one of them can deplete the tokens, the other one can follow up with the shots. And eventually, essentially, uh, once you take down Dash, that's the game. It, it's a it's a one ship list, in reality, with with a backup piece. Yeah, Benthic's uh, really uh, tanky as well. If he doesn't need to be supporting, being able to take focus evade just for himself every round uh, with advanced sensors, so you can't stop him from doing that either. Uh, also has a hull upgrade, so very, very tanky. Um, verse <laughs> for what we normally consider the U-wing as like a slow lumbering uh, support ship. Uh, I think this one's got some legs. It might even be going in for a block here on ing 88 d All right, no, just keeping it nice and simple. One straight. Gonna have a nice range one shot into Benthic. I mean, Benthic's in trouble if Dash isn't uh, in both those arcs as well. And Mike Clark doing a great job of uh, avoiding tokens for Dash. Mm -hmm. Was able to catch a bump there. Uh, so Dash has uh, no offensive tokens this round. Just the evade he got from Benthic. So it's going to be a range two shot going into IG88D. Here's the four dice and got two crits. No way to modify those. Thank you to Tim Fett for the sub. And we're just waiting for the three agility defense. And gonna push those through. That's gonna be a crit. What is our first crit on that IG? We got Ooh, a loose, loose stabilizer. stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. That's gonna force that uh that ship to go straight. Otherwise, it's gonna take a damage. If you execute a non-straight maneuver, suffer a damage. He's gotta lock it down. Now, he, he does have advanced sensors, so he could just fix that before he moves. Mm -hmm. So not not the worst thing, but we'll prevent him from taking an action next round. Yeah, because uh, he's not flying straight. Like what the other ships are going the opposite direction. Now here, this is a smart move. Firing with the red first into Benthic. See what you get, and is it worth doing a follow up shot with IG eighty eight D, or do you just go into dash? Yeah, I think he's debating here, auto blaster or not. I think you. Just take the auto blaster. Why wouldn't you? You got three dice. Mm -hmm. uh, crits automatically go through. Any crits. Yeah. Maybe you the debate it. is is possibly going ion cannon. Ooh, yeah, but uh, that's a primary. Uh, Going to go with the primary. Hit crit. No crits going through anyways. 
There you go. And he's going to hold on to the focus token for the range one shot. Never hold on to your focus tokens. That but. that is that can be a danger, a dangerous proposition. I'll save it for the next next shot. Like oh well, you might not you you might not be able to do it. Yeah, and this shot's going into dash anyways. So there you go. Uh, I wouldn't spend anything. Just follow up with the an ion cannon. Uh, looks like he wants oh, okay. to try to do the damage. Going for two, and dash gonna push one. Evade. Oh, he so does take have... one or let me shoot again. Yeah, he does have the evade here, so that's yeah. what that's what he's debating is: do I just take one damage or risk a follow-up ion cannon? And he's gonna risk the ion cannon. The attack is not obstructed, by the way. We have we have the line on it. I can see it. Do you have to shoot at the same defender? Nope, it's just a bonus attack. Ah, just do what you want. Interesting. Interesting. We don't see enough IGs. We do not. Yep, here it is. Iron Cannon follow-up for one hit. There you go. So, Dash spending the evade. Let's end up, is it worth it? Ends up taking one damage anyway. Dash is left with one shield. One away from half points. There's no shield upgrade, is there? I mean, uh, there is hull, a shield upgrade. Hull, hull upgrade? No, nope, that was a just shield. A shield upgrade. Okay. So it needs so six damage to two half. more. Needs two more. Okay. I went to double check right away, okay? Don't call me out, chat. Don't call me out. <laughs> uh, uh, peak, uh, pecking bread. Or peking bread. Uh, I think it's pecking. But uh, th there was two lines from IG88B. Uh, one of the there all of those lines that you see are color coded depending on what they are. Yellow mm -hmm. or blue is unobstructed. Yellow is obstructed. Uh, pink is a shot in your bullseye, and red is a shot, uh, an obstructed shot in your bullseye. And when you measured that arc, he actually had two different lines. He had a pink line that was uh, showing parallel, and then a yellow line showing that it could be obstructed. Mm -hmm. Take your pick. <laughs> mm, I think yeah. I'll take unobstructed. Those those lines are really helpful, especially if you have a, abilities that can trigger when filing, following through obstacles. Uh, and there, there, who knows what the reason is, or, or if you just want to shoot around a gas cloud, and you're like, I don't want it to be obstructed just because of uh, I might have trick shot, but I don't want you to have the gas cloud ability. You know that is a possibility right. if you're in the parallel there well, next uh, to an yeah, obstacle. Yeah, if you have trick shot, you might be choosing the obstructed shots then more often than not. Or blackout as well. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got uh, stop, drop, and uh, rotate here. From uh, Benthic, he, who passed a focus token with advanced sensors off to Dash Rendar. Uh, we got. Well, well look at this. Looks like a... That's an intentional bump there from uh, IG88B mm -hmm. on the bottom of the board, the red one. 100%. It did a one forward to make sure that he wouldn't move. And they're going to have focused shots there, anticipating the rotate by uh, by Benthic Two Tubes. Yeah, I'm surprised. Did he do the hard sloop? Yeah, the turn template there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was utilizing ING D's ability in hopes that it would get him on a Vark of Benthic. It did not. Well, I mean, you have a shot. It was either that or, or, or just ram into Benthic. That was a possibility as well. Well, I mean, like, you, you could have, like, 3K'd or just done the regular sloop here. True that. But I like, right. I like, the, I like the current positioning, though, because it gives you a good, uh, a good approach lane if uh, Dash would have gone to the top, like, bottom left-hand side of the board, bottom right-hand mm -hmm. side of the board. You, you have lanes now going in all directions. Benthic passes a token on action, correct? Correct. You can take your own uh, focus action and get your own perceptive co-pilot afterwards. Uh, let's uh, a reminder you uh, to our our friends in uh, in the chat. Um, uh, we keep a a clean chat. Keep it family friendly in there. Had a, a couple of uh, auto mod catches there. 
Remember the agreement that you uh, you do click when you ch click into the Twitch chat, please. Thank you. Thank you, Grim Wolf, for bringing up the rules, fam. And here we go. Time for the IGs to uh, to lay some pain here. We got a three die shot going into Bendik. Just one. Is he gonna spend the calculate? Yes. Yep. Now Bendik has reduced agility here because of the pivot wing closing. You when you defend, you roll one fewer defense dice. So there was one shield. And here is IG88B. There you, you can see the lines because that ship didn't move. Uh, you can see the pink line and the red line here showing that. Uh, he's got the choice of the two. That's right. Choose your railroad. Has to calculate. Going to go ahead and spend one for hit crit. This is the primary right now. Got the squiggle and takes out. Uh, another crit here. Here comes the crit onto Benthic, and it is a wounded pilot. Wounded pilot. Gonna lock down some of the actions there. And here's the retaliation shot. Still range two. And that's going to be one. Uh, you mean safe? I'm sorry. What did I say? He said he was going to take one. It was two on two. Two hits, two evades. Got it. Sorry. I was, I was reading, uh, <laughs> no read, reading the Twitch chat. Uh, thank you to... Lajonic a seventy eight for the sub. So here's something really interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Dash doesn't care about obstacles, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. While he's moving, but what if like an obstacle like suddenly appeared? Uh, that he would take it. He's not moving. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he's not moving. He gets dropped on him. <laughs> yep. yeah. But at the same time, though, do you really want to put more cargo suits on the board for Dash? This is true. Yeah, but yeah, but like that stress on Dash could be massive. Yeah, if he yeah if he doesn't uh, dial in a blue maneuver or something. Yeah. Well, no, he's also uh, he's also got Outrider. Uh, that says if he does mm -hmm. touch it, uh, it That's says after you fully move through or overlap. I mean, you're gonna end yeah. up overlapping it most likely. If it, if it, well, I was thinking big. if it like if it went in front of his nubs, it wouldn't it, matter it wouldn't, what. It wouldn't go that far, would it? I, I always have a terrible time judging <laughs> those things. <laughs> yeah, those. Uh, Mike those Clark uh, does issues. it the smart way. The smart way of put the token out so you can just visualize it the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never know how big they are going to be, though. I need to measure them someday. I mean, additionally, he could drop a bomb and drop that. True this. I mean, Dash likely... Un Does he have... Do they have procs? No, they have proton bombs. I mean, it's unlikely to hit right now. Mm-hmm. I do like yeah, James, I mean though. I do, I do like the idea of the rig cargo shoot here. Um, if you could make it land where Dash isn't overlapping it and he ends up stressed, you could delay delay an action, turn off the uh, the Biston, especially with both IGs likely being in arc next turn. I like to play. Yeah, I I'm, like to play a lot. I, I, it's it's so tempting, so tempting. And a reminder: the uh, the rig cargo shoot is an action. It is not system phase. So uh, they can use advanced sensors to drop it. Yeah, just in case oh, anybody missed at, that. Look at this here. 
So Benthic decides to keep his stress and turn away. Huh. Maybe a is IG eighty eight D doing more kind of like a reset turn? Didn't maybe just didn't want to bump and lose actions into Benthic. Mm hmm Well he didn't have the access to advanced sensors there. So it looks like he's just going to take the boost action. Yeah, so advanced sensors, advanced joint brain, so advanced. And it's going to utilize a 4K. I like that positioning there. It's an easy shot onto two tubes. Yeah, see, so Dash did the hard, or did a white one bank anyways. Mm -hmm. So it still gets access to the double calculates. Maybe, uh, had foreseen a potential cargo shoot coming as well. That's right. I, I still have like a bomb drop, though. Yeah, I'd force him to bear roll. Yeah, I'm trying to visualize. Uh, it would have been close. And uh, real quick, the dash is out of range. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no shot there. This is a range one primary, I could only assume. It's a pretty solid uh, shot, though. A... Three hits and a crit. And that's hit, hit, crit going into dash. This is going to hurt. I'm oh, sorry, going into uh, ben Benthic. Six. This is going to hurt. Benny got a blinded. Oh, no. My eyes. <laughs> so not going to be able to modify his attack dice with focus. Mind you, at this point, Benthic down to two hole. Not sure how much longer he's going to be around. Yeah, the IGs are making quick work of uh, Benthic here. So I, honestly, putting on a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. I forget how uh, much that IG88B uh, gives you for consistency, uh, being able to take to take an additional shot when you miss. Uh, I've I remember. Do you remember Gunner? You remember Gunner in first edition? <laughs> yeah, I remember Gunner. Oh, I do I? I used to fly a Bosk with Gunner and Marksmanship and uh, IG eighty eight B quite a mm -hmm. bit until until TLT Hawks came out. Then whatever. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember that with uh, IG in my experience that there will be times when someone will be like, "Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just take the one uh, yeah. so you don't just shoot back at me again." And then you're like, like oh, that's fine, I did damage. Fine. Sweet. Yeah, we're like, all right, I guess. I'll keep my mods for next time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here, we'll see where uh, where Dash is going to go. You can see with the two different approach vectors, we're probably expecting IG-88D to turn between those obstacles. Maybe try to uh, to catch Benthic. Benthic cannot stop due to the stress that he held on to from doing a hard turn. I think without that, uh, without that stress, a stop would have been pretty sweet. Does end up hitting the cloud. Takes a strain. Yeah, with two health here, I feel like he's just lining himself up for a Dead Man Swiss mission. Because I feel like, now that, especially now that he's strained, that uh, IG-88D should have no problem taking him off the board. All right, one bank does clear. Just keeping keeping the arc on dash. You know that dash is going to the right. Doesn't have enough space to do shenanigans to the left. And IG-88D lining up the kill shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that dead man switch looks like he's going to be in range one of both of the IGs. Well, you know what? Being being able to put that card to good use here, yeah, at least Benthic gets you something. <laughs> Here's a range three shot from dash. It's going to be four on four. That's a full string for Dash. Four hits. 
Yeah, uh, Beastor has his elusive. Uh huh. He does spend oh, the charge. Nothing. Blank to blank. Spent to calculate. Gonna take two on red. And that's going to uh, be a half. That's not half. Got a hollow grade. Almost a half. They're nine health ships with that hull upgrade. Oh, it's always the hull upgrade. Know, the, these two ship builds were just. <laughs> every ship just has a whole line of upgrade cards. <laughs> All right. At least the IGs have the same ones. Double crits looking at Dash. Dash does still have a focus for defense. Not going to be able to spend the... Oh, one fell out the box. Excuse me. One more. And that's a crit. Last shield down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't take that gen or so evade. Still not half. Needs one more to get the half points on Dash. Here's IG-88D, range one shot, confirming that that dead man switch, if goes off, will be on both of the IGs. Uh, yeah, I think he did, but... Oh, uh, he's got... Oh, because of the strain. That's mm -hmm. right. And boom, that's a dead man switch. So that's going to be an additional damage it. on both of those IGs. Now, IG-88D, th that's three cards there, by the way. Uh, that's three cards mm -hmm. there. On IG-88D, two on IG-88B for people looking at that. So that means that with the hull upgrade, you got four on the red one, which is B. And as James has listed there, three hull left on, uh, on the yellow, which is IG-88D. This is still a really close game. Especially with Dash being at initiative 5, uh, you have the potential to initiative kill one of these IGs. Uh, that's true. We need to just throw in those big dice pools. Unfortunately, though, uh, maybe as a product of flying so close to um, Benthic there for a bit, but I don't think we've seen a single trick shot or Outrider trigger this game. Mm-mm has not come up i think it's, it has to do with the aggressiveness of those igs they really they kind of cut off the path of dash to be able to kind of do that typical roundabout the obstacles where he would have started mm -hmm. in that bottom sector with the 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 bacon the l and that other cloud just kind of shimming around and the igs did not let him go you are not allowed to play in the secret garden sorry yeah, and they're significantly faster than Dash uh, with that boost action. Mm -hmm. I mean, he only has barrel roll, but uh, it means that they're going to be able to close the gap and chase him down here really quick. And of course, the 2400 does have that sensor blind spot where instead of giving an additional diet range one, he actually loses a diet range one. My dice! Literally. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Flame Beast does mention like if, and if Jess could just drop, uh, yellow here, mm -hmm. in the next round or two, uh, he could easily solo B. Maybe not easily, but I think you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. the, he has the advantage has on a, a one and one. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. And that's what I want to see how Mike is gonna handle this because the IG88D in yellow does not have a clear path to get to Dash. You have that bacon cloud in the way. And ideally, these IGs can use their, uh, you know, different angles with their arcs in order to be able to get shots on dash. Mm -hmm. You do have advanced sensors. I guess you could, like, boost and YOLO over the cloud if you really <laughs> want to. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I mean, uh... it's a possibility. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. That's that's a whole other question. Yeah, I, I feel like he's going to be taking that lane. A nice three bank here. Hide behind the gas cloud for a bit. Uh, at least it will give you that a def blank conversion on defense. And then, yeah, low, YOLO over it next round. Hope you don't take the strain. <laughs> a high level X-Wing does not equal a good X-Wing. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
I, it's not always that it's high level. It's like the it's always it's because in these tournaments we're watching like the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth games that these players mm-hmm. have played. Ooh. So they are mentally drained. This so not be... always making the best decisions. IG eighty eight B able to get into the sensor blind spot most likely. Yep, that's range one. So Dash is going to lose a die. Only three hits. Uh, sorry, only three uh, three dice. Has mm-hmm. a focus available. Hit crit. And Mike has also managed to not allow Julian to use Biston this turn. That's going to be a full... Oh, sorry, this game. That's going to be a full string. Hit it, crit. Calculate out and take a crit. Mm-hmm. That yeah, is going to be your, under the shield. ability. What do we got there? We got a wounded pilot. All right, that's going to be a little bit tough. A little bit tough. These uh, these bugs yeah. do have uh, the advanced sensors and do rely on that quite a bit. But you can uh, flip it with an action using right. advanced it, sensors. It, but it does cost you the action is the problem. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem unless you're trying to advance sensors and do a K-turn. Because you might end up with a K-turn on your dial while stressed. All right, we got range one primary, I can only assume here, going for max damage first uh, before triggering the IG-88B ability. All right, here we go. Oh, I mean, okay. that calientito. That'll hit. That'll Gu- hit. <laughs> guaranteed to crit. Does have a focus there. This is going to be officially half points on dash, and it is a weapons failure. Huge, Ooh. huge, huge. So that neuters Dash's dice and also puts Mike in the lead. Mm-hmm. 100 to 137. Uh, yeah, because Dash's actions are so valuable. Uh, investing into that perceptive co-pilot and the Bistan, uh, that going back down to just three attack dice or a two at range one even. Mm-hmm. And it might be a situation here where IG-88B tries to block dash and it hopes to protect uh, D coming in. People where, asking to us to double check damage and no, we, we have... Uh, red should be at three hole, I believe, rather than at four. And other than that, we should be good. Thank you, chat. Keeping keeping us honest. When did he yeah? I'm uh, after after last game that had a slow, methodical, uh, calculated pace. Uh-huh. Uh, this one's just. Boost and shoot. <laughs> let's let's do it. I'm s i am can not believe that we're only like half hour into this game. Ah, and the wounded pilot was on red. That's the Ah, and IG's at three. They're both at three. We got it. We did it. <laughs> yeah, I'll upgrade. <laughs> That's what it was. I put the damage on the wrong ship. Yeah, chat, chat, be like, hmm. Yeah, they, they <laughs> always get me. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, your performance reviews come pretty quick, James. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> this will reflect. <laughs> Love it. All right, we got 40 minutes left on the clock. That there's a ton there. By the way, uh, we do have a bracket going. Uh, being taken care of by Desol in the chat. You can type exclamation point bracket to get access to that and see how the games are going and seeing if any of the other games are uh, are finished up. We need a whole upgrade emote. What do you guys want? To, like the whole, it could be the whole symbol. That'd be a simple one. Yeah, whole plus one. Yep. All right, so fixes the wounded with advanced sensors and does a 3K. And I'm be like, what? They don't have a 3K on their dial. They sure do. Uh, that is utilizing 
IG88D's ability, because uh, mm -hmm. remember, you can change it to the hard turns or to the straight maneuver. Gives him a lot of flexibility. And there's that the was... uh, wounded pilot. Or is, uh, the oh, sorry, that's the, the gas cloud. Oh, my goodness, Dion. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Uh, B got the block. Uh, so... Dash is going to fire a unmodified three dice attack. How does it feel, Dash, to be a regular ship? No, but I'm worth so much more. No. <laughs> Got two hits, no. though. Got two hits. Guaranteed not to kill him and got the natties. That is huge there. So the strain does come off there. And here is a three on two retaliation shot. You shoot me, yeah, I shoot you. I can only imagine primary here. Oh, yeah. 100%. You're trying to push through multiple damage. Do you have multiple calculates or just one? You got them. I would. There's a yeah, stack there. you got there. a mod, so something should go through. You can't natty like you did. Oh, oh he blanks out even. Look Down out. the three hole. Sad dashed. A couple people asking I mean, about he's, he's, the robot. The robot was strained. Yes, it was in the bottom right-hand corner. Mm -hmm. That's why it uh, did two agility rather than three. Go ahead, Will. Uh, I was just saying that Dash does have a breather room here as it looks like he's heading into the corner, can hide behind that gas cloud, maybe even fix his weapon's failure and shoot a five-dice attack with trick shot. Mm. Use so the cloud. Be the cloud. completely dashed yet. <laughs> No, not just yet. <laughs> nice, James. Very nice. I, I hear all summer, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dash doesn't have two calculates. That's a that's a trick of the uh, angle here. Oh, I'm not promoted. I can't even clear out those dice. Sorry. Brettness37 says, how do we get an IG animation to blow po points on? I just gotta spend the time to do it. I just time time is of the eff essence. I may be coming into some more time here in the future. We'll see what's we'll see what the dice say. A time machine? You're Dion. You're building a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> you're yes. just you're just investing in clocks. <laughs> yes. Look at all my clocks. I got all my time back. Look at all this time I got. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dion, you really got to stop buying grandfather clocks. All right. <laughs> we got college funds to work towards. <laughs> Arwen, Arwen, look. This one's really nice. <laughs> Your investments, Arwen. <laughs> You'll know this if you had the time. Uh... All right. Back to I approve this message. <laughs> Back to the game. Uh, it looks like B is just clearing stress and uh, turning away. Dropped a proton bomb. Sup, mm -hmm. Dash? How you like that? And IG-88D anticipating Dash going into the corner. Bust the K turn. Hello, proton bomb. So Dash guaranteed to be at two hull, maybe a little less. This could be our last engagement. Yeah, Proton Bomb crit here is Console Fire. Ooh, that has potential to do two damage this round. All right, what do we got? Yeah, reminder of the weapons failure. Does have a shot. It is just barely not obstructed. Just yeah. barely. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's only so three just, dice. It is. He got all hit. three. A hey. blank out here kills IG. But not today. Not today. He's even got elusive if he wants it. He does. Does he spend it yeah. to hold on to the health? Spend it. Spend it. Yeah. Because uh, at two damage, I mean, Dash can one shot you. That, that three health is a nice uh, buffer. We had a console damage or console fire, and it was one crit, which is not what triggers console fire is only on hits. Mm -hmm. 
Console Fire was from the Proton Bomb, by the way. And here's the attack. Two hole left on Dash. One and one. <laughs> Goose, Goose or Drew, either one, uh, <laughs> ask about our uh, GSP accent. Council. Con con soul council. 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 Counselor. Count console. Now, see, I would, I would, hmm. Council. <laughs> council. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, here's one hit on the uh, on the double tap. Oh, was that the, was that the auto blaster? One or was that the ion? That's it. It's over. That's auto blaster, I think. It's all over. IG88 being able to take down Dash. Oh. Score of one hundred. To 200. Congratulations to Mike Clark getting IGs, IGs, double IGs into now the top eight of the Mon Cala Galactic Championship qualifier. Absolutely massive. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, well. So, you know, I, I will tell you this, Will. I did not go into this event thinking IGs. I think that's <laughs> where it's at. ISO, Danko. Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.